Yeah, okay, now we're recording. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, on the Mazda Tribute today, guys. I got a master cylinder. Um, I've done front brakes, rear brakes over the years, and this um, pads, rotors are good. Drums, good. Uh, my pedal sucks, but I got a nice Beck Armley. Which used to be a good company, I think. They primarily do Japanese import parts. So, um, it's a real easy job. This is 213 millimeter for your line wrench, two studs, and the electrical connector I took off already. Um, I might just bleed it right here, or I might just do it on the bench. And then I'll probably do the whole system again because I want to find why this pedal sucks so much. Now, brake fluid is very corrosive, so I'm going to put this rag down. Um, I normally would siphon out the reservoir. Uh, I had a turkey baster I get from the dollar store, but it is, uh, I think it finally corroded and broke, so I need to get a new one. Um, but yeah, siphon out the reservoir if you can. And this turkey baster is great for that. But I'm just going to put that down, get the lines off, get it out of here quick, and go from there. So I was just looking at the back side of this for evidence of leaking. I don't see anything. That old yellowing kind of surface rust, I think. With the gasket there, it looks good. Um, I did spray some penetrating oil on there. But I think that is more, that's like moisture and rust. So I wonder if I should clean that up. That's a seal. Because when you pull this away from the booster, the vacuum releases. And it looks like that might be wet in there. So I would say, what, the brake fluid is leaking in there? So maybe I did have a leak. Maybe, maybe. Um, boosters do go bad. I don't think it's prevalent as massive cylinders on this, though. So, yeah, let's make sure that's nice and smooth. This new one has a nice uh, O-ring there, too, as well. No, I think I'll, I'm going to fill this on the bench. Put some fluid in it and bleed it out. I think I still have that kit from the last one that's I did. set up these hoses on the two fittings, run them up into the reservoir, fill it with fluid, and then drive your, like a screwdriver in there, and just pump, get all the air out of the actual mass cylinder before you put it on the truck. And then you won't have any air from this point forward to, you have a little bit of air when you hook the lines up, but not as much as if this whole thing had air in it. So you definitely want to bleed the whole truck system afterwards. Okay, that was easy. Done. Too easy. Hmm. So you know what that means? Something went wrong. Or it's just not going to fix it. Um, this is an 03, but look at my uh, vacuum lines. They're all dried out. I've replaced this one before. There's another one here. Dried, cracked. So uh, avoid some emissions lights coming on. You might want to change out those, Michael. All right, let's see if this brake pedal gets any better. All right, master cylinder is in. Adjusted the brakes, the rears. That often helps your pedal if you have a low pedal. Drum brakes, you want to adjust the rear. Uh, oh, this feels a lot better. I bled them. Rears first, and the front. Final step you want to do is uh, activate the ABS. Uh, go find some low gravel, shitty pavement or dirt if you can, and do a few ABS stops because there will be air most likely trapped in the. Sometimes it can be in the ABS system. Um, and there's no real way to get it out of there 
Uh, they have, you know, in a shop they'll have a tool to activate the ABS. On your own, this is about all you can do. This is shitty enough right here. Yeah, so that's it. That's my brake jobby job on this sucker. Three or four stops, that'll do. Alright, till the next one. Happy Labor Day, it's almost here.